I've always wanted my designs to make an impact, but for a long time I didn't feel it did. I started this creative journey by designing logos and I soon got into designing entire brand identities. It wasn't long after that I realized how much branding impacted our day to day lives. This realization made me even more invested in designing and I finally felt that my designs solved problems. But branding is a big field and it definitely isn't a one man job. I needed a team of creatives to be able to bring brands to life. So it was finally time to move on to the next chapter and start a design agency of my own. I've had this idea for quite a while but never really got the time to build it. Now as the projects get bigger I need a more professional approach. I have a lot of ideas on how I want to design it but I'm completely lost on where to start. So let's first begin with planning everything out. Planning out the process and creating a game plan will help me break it down into smaller steps and provide me with a more concrete direction for this project. I'm going to be using Millenote which is an amazing tool to organize your ideas and projects into visual boards. They are also the kind sponsors of this video and a big supporter of the channel. I've been using Millenote for almost 2-3 years now and it's become an extremely essential part of my design process. It's going to be an exciting journey building an entire design studio from scratch. So I want to walk you through this entire process and hopefully provide you with some valuable insights. So after some initial research on how to go about designing a creative agency, I have drafted a list of things I need to do. Step 1 is to do a deeper research on design studios that are of a similar scale as me to get a better understanding of how such an agency operates. I follow a lot of such agencies on Instagram and Behance, so let's start from there. If you want me back, I'll tell you stop trying. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Let it go. All the boots are like, whoa. After going through a bunch of agencies and studying the process, I realized that there are a lot of documents I need to design before I take on my first client as an agency. Stuff like project proposal, contracts, pricing, portfolio, etc. I've made a separate list of all such resources I'll need. I also scouted the internet and found templates of some of these documents and uploaded them here. This will be good to refer to when I'm drafting my own design documents. Since it's hard for me to go into the details of the research in this short video, I'll document everything onto a blog and mention the links to all the resources I've used. So if you are interested in learning more about this building process, you can check out the articles on my media page. After spending some more time researching and going through online courses, I've drafted most of the documents I need to get started. Also created a brand strategy and finalized the name. It's called SKS.Design which is an abbreviation for a sketch, an exercise that's foundational to all creatives. It also has my initials so that's a bonus. After that, I identify the clients or companies we want to work with, define a mission statement, purpose, values, and most importantly, what Sketch Design Studio stands for. I took some time to carefully think about them as it's probably one of the most important part of starting any business. These are the foundational pillars on which your organization will operate. Having a strategy in place beforehand also provides a more clear direction for your design.
I'm pretty happy with how the logo turned out. It looks really neat and modern. I wanted to keep it simple for the most part, but also have a mark that would be unique and identifiable. Next, I'll update the profile and banner on Instagram, Twitter, and Behance and start uploading some of my previous work there. Before you move on, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor Millenote. It's undoubtedly one of the best design softwares I've used. And this is not coming from the script, this is coming from me. It's basically like a digital whiteboard where you can collaborate with your team, create mood boards, share ideas, upload your files and so much more. For me, it's basically become a hub for all of the design projects I do. It's free to use, but its premium plan offers unlimited storage. So if you're working on big design projects, then it really saves you the trouble of having to upload your files elsewhere. They have templates for different use cases to help you get started and it's really easy to use. They also have a mobile app and they just rolled out the iPad version as well. So do check out Miller Note if you have not already and link this in the description below. Alright, the last and the most important part, the website. I already bought the domain to sketch.design and set up the professional emails. We are also now open for project booking, so feel free to reach out to shantanu at the rate sketch.design. 